the operating expenses of a company have a high impact not only on the result of the company but also on other parameters like profit per cost and minimum order income to be achieved. Even the same operational result and profitability of two companies could be of different quality because of different relation in fixed and variable expenses. In this presentation, two performance indicators will be introduced to monitor these differences. We will categorize the operating expenses in fixed expenses and labor expenses. Fixed expenses will not change with a variation of headcount over the planning period. For example, depreciation, office rental, costs for electricity and water, rental or leasing of equipment or a company car, tools and material, maintenance costs, accountancy, audit and other fees and insurances. We introduce a ratio FP, fixed percentage, as the ratio of fixed operating expenses in relation to the total operating expenses. And also a ratio LP, labor percentage, as the ratio of labor-related expenses over total expenses. We can then write the total expenses is the sum of FP multiplied by expenses plus LP multiplied by expenses with FP plus LP equals 100%. For example, if we have total expenses of $5,800 and a depreciation and fixed Markom costs of $580 and $150, then FP will be $730 over $5,800 equals 12.6 percent. Profit per cost is the ratio of operational result over expenses. If we now split the total expenses in fixed expenses and labor related expenses we see that an investment in fixed assets will increase the depreciation expenses as part of the fixed expenses and consequently FP. As a result, profit per cost will be lowered and deviations from planned order income will have a higher impact on the operational result. A high fixed percentage results in a higher minimum order income to keep the break even. Let me give you an example. We have a company providing services to customers. As part of the orders, we have to visit our customers. We use a taxi for transport and the taxi costs are part of our cost of sales. We assume an order income of $9,200 and transport costs of $1,400. So the gross profit will be $7,800 with fixed expenses of $900 and labor-related expenses of $5,100 our operating expenses will sum up to $6,000, so the operational result will be $1,800. Now we decide, instead of taking taxis, to invest in a company car, because we found out that the costs for depreciation are exactly the same as the costs we spend for taking taxis. So we assume the same order income but our cost of sales will be zero so our gross profit will increase to $9,200. The fixed expenses will be increased by the depreciation for the company car. With the same labor related expenses we have an increase of the operating expenses uh, to $7,400. As a result the operational result will be exactly the same. But when we have a look at the key ratios, we see that in the first case, FP is 15% and we have profit per cost of 30%.
In the second case, we have increased our fixed percentage to 31% and we have a profit per cost of 24%. So although we have the exactly same operational result, the quality is different. The fixed percentage is higher and we achieve the result with a lower profit per cost. Now we will have a look at the organizational administration. These are all activities necessary to administer the organization. For example, accounting, human resource, quality assurance and so on. We define headcount percentage admin as the percentage of employees doing administrative work. Their effective working hours do neither directly nor indirectly contribute to the working capacity. We could treat the expenses for organizational administration as part of the fixed expenses. So we can move this part of the labor expenses to the fixed expenses. And we will have reduced labor related expenses, expenses L apostrophe and increased fixed expenses, expenses F apostrophe. Expenses F apostrophe can be calculated as fixed percentage plus headcount percentage admin multiplied by labor percentage multiplied by total expensive. And we introduced a fixed percentage apostrophe, which is the fixed percentage plus the labor costs related to the administration work. FP apostrophe is a measure how much percentage of the expenses is needed to cover organizational administration and fixed expenses. As an example, we have fixed percentage of 40%, then we know the labor percentage is 60%, our Admin headcount is 25% of the total headcount, so we calculate FP apostrophe as 0.4, 40% plus the 25% multiplied by 60% labor percentage, resulting in 55%. FP, FP apostrophe or headcount percentage admin can be used as performance indicators related to the structure of an organization. Lower percentages could help to improve the profit per cost. A typical value for headcount percentage admin is between 20 and 30 percent depending on the company size. The relation of variable to fixed expenses is important to evaluate the operational result. Each investment reducing the cost of goods sold but increasing the depreciation as part of the fixed expenses will reduce the profit per cost and should be examined with care. Administration of a company is necessary and important. On the other hand, the cost for administration can be treated as part of the fixed expenses and should be minimized. The percentage of headcount involved in administration can be an indicator to be monitored.